There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? So straight up, I'm going to be straightforward with you right now before this video even gets to going and gets to going. This was really going to be a voiceover. I felt the need to just, just do some voiceovers today so I could speed through these videos because, girl, listen, let me tell y'all something. It was really going to be three videos for today, but honey, when you have one that you really want to wear, it's this wig that I'm going to do last. It's just lovely. Like, it, I can't even explain it, but it's just lovely. But anyway, this is not even about that. This is about Hermosa hair. Hermosa hair. Never even heard of them. Girl, you know, there are so many wig websites out there. They can sometimes just pop up overnight. Like, you blink your eyes too, close, too long, and there's a new wig website, okay? Hermosa. Hermosa. Hermosa, okay, Hermosa. So I was sent a unit by them, and it is a five by five closure unit, okay. Girl, she is in the color number 33, so they say. This number 33 doesn't really resemble a 33 to me, but the color is still very pretty and rich and gingery-like. Because it's already color treated, sometimes it can be like impossible, impossible to just believe the knots. And honestly, I really wish that they would do that prior to coloring any type of wig hair. I mean, like if it was my company, that was what I would do. But I mean, I'm just saying, who am I to say? But I have actually bleached colored hair before the knots of it, and it worked out. But here's the trick to that. Sometimes it work out, girl, and sometimes it don't. And then on top of that, it'll sometimes make the hair just fall out in clumps and clumps and clumps. So to avoid all of that, I did use that um, grid stick. I can't really remember the name up offhand. I will be showcasing it in the video. And it's, it just goes on. It's, it looks just like a wax stick, but it's colored, you know, and um, you have to make sure that it's warm, warm, nice and moist, wet, hot, whatever, so that it can melt. So the color that I use, I think, is tan. And I did apply it to the unit, which I will show you guys. And it did help somewhat, but I did have to rewash the unit last night because I did want the curls to, to form back. You know, I had kind of like tossed this wig all over the place yesterday. It is a five by five and it is this unit. I do think like I'm going to have to put like some more concealer on it. But for the most part, the product does work really well. I'm not really sure how long this will last before you need to reapply it or how easy it is to wash out. Well, girl, honey child, listen, the color is pretty. I wasn't able to tweeze it because to tweeze it is really not going to help it because there's just knots all over. But we're just going to make it do what it do, okay? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, Just 
All right, y'all. All right. So this is what I used right here. The perfect line. Um, what does it say? I can't really see it right now, but it's perfect line grid eraser and it comes in the multiple colors. I got it in tan. I did purchase this on my own. Girl, let me tell you, I purchased this product like about over a year ago. This is my very first time using it. So you have to put it in hot water for like 10 minutes. I went ahead and I microwaved the water for three minutes. Okay. And I just let it sit in the cup. Make sure you put something on top of it so that it doesn't flip upside down as it stays. So the color I got is tan and I didn't want it to sit in there too long because after I watched certain videos, they were saying like, you know, don't let it get too runny because it'll seep through the lace. So I'm going to give it a try. So this is what the knots do look like. You know what I mean? Yes. Walking Dead, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. Favorite show in the entire world. I'm so sad because this is the end of the series. But a girl has watched and rewatched and rewatched the series multiple times. So, you know, that's what I do in my off time. So anyway, as you see, it's a five by five closure. And the product is really soft. I believe I paid like $20 for this product. I seen like a couple of videos on YouTube and I thought it worked really well from what I seen. So you just want to actually put it where you're going to do the part. I did spread it around a little bit more than where the part is that because girl listen i need the coverage you got to make sure you know you might not like where the part is at so you can have an opportunity to switch it up so i mean so far so good it, it reminds me of like a really really uh thick kind of like concealer this is i mean this is what it reminds me of a really really thick concealer it also reminded me of like, I had a wig that I used to wear all the time that I made. And because I didn't bleach the knots, I would just use concealer. And so over time, it just got really thick like this and never washed off. So um, this is what it reminds me of. Now, I'm, the product will wash off. I'm not really sure after how many washes, but it will wash off. Now, they say you don't want it to seep through the lace. But girl, listen, um, at this moment in time, I just really wanted the lace to look like acceptable i wanted the knots to look acceptable so that's what i did now on the right side you do see me like you know fixing up the hairline and on the left i am taking my comb and pressing in that product that grid eraser into the knots a little bit more because i just want it to look as natural as possible okay girl now on the right i'm just using my favorite styling foam because you know it's mark anthony and they call it styling foam knowing damn well it is nothing but a fancy way of calling it mousse a little razzle dazzle and they make it girl listen it's ten dollars so we're gonna call it foam okay but i love the i love the mousse i love the foam because it doesn't you know it doesn't turn watery within a few seconds it stays foam for a long time okay so that might be why they calling it foam but yeah the wig came out okay as you see i'm just using my hot curling wand to just give it a little height let's take off this um elastic band and of course the baby hairs don't look that great i don't like my baby hairs pasted down but that's okay for right now what i'm gonna do right now is i am taking my um you call that thing um i'm using the concealer the ardell concealer to spruce up the actual lace just so that way none of the knots are visible you know all that good stuff yada 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 etc etc but what i'm doing now is i'm pulling up the baby hairs because i really didn't want them to be stuck to my head so I am going to pull them up and I'm kind of kind of like massage the hair down. So I'm kind of like pushing the hairs forward towards me, like at the root. So that way it's not laying so flat and it doesn't look like it's a wig. Girl, we all know it's a wig, but I'm trying to make it look as professional as possible. You know what I'm saying? Pro. <laughs> Gotta make it look pro. You know, do it like it's your B-Day, baby. Do it like you're grown and sexy. Or at least try to, honey. I did the best, the best, the best that I could to conceal these knots on this unit. Now, as y'all seen, I was kind of like, it looked like I was just like, kind of like just digging in the scalp or kind of like just, I just kept 
Basically what I was doing was massaging the hair roots so that way the hair wouldn't lay flat and it would stand up kind of like it was growing out of your scalp skin, stand up from the root and that way to make it less noticeable that there are knots and that it is a wig. So I've done this in like several of my videos when the unit or the hairline is not the greatest of the greatest. I have a certain skill set that a lot of people don't know about. Um, and all I do is just take the hairspray once it's on the lace and I'll take my comb and I just go behind the hairs and kind of like brush them forward and massage them into the hairspray. I'll kind of like massage the root of the wig or the root of the hairs into the hairspray. At the same time, kind of like pulling the hair back so that way it doesn't lay flat. You can also achieve the same thing after you've already laid the baby hairs and laid it down like as you seen I did. I already took the headband off or the actual elastic band off and then that's when I started massaging the hair upwards and kind of like downwards, pressing into the lace while pulling on the roots of the hair. So that way it'll just kind of like stand up without kind of moving moving the lace, if you get my, and I'm saying. We need to figure this out. The lace coverage, since it's a five by five, there's plenty of coverage on a unit. Like you can part it within that circumference, five by five, which gives you a lot of parting. As you guys seen, I did kind of like tilt the wig more to this side because I did want just a little bit more of the part to this way. Had I parted it on myself when I first wet it, then I would have had it proper. But I didn't want the part to be kind of like up here. And to avoid just reparting it, I just kind of like shifted the wig. That's the cool thing about it. The color is really pretty. I'm not really going to say this is a number 33 because I've seen some 33s. But this color is very pretty. It reminds me of like a reddish and a ginger color wig. The curl pattern is succulent, honey. Especially when you allow it to overnight air dry. Like I'm cool with misting it with water to get the curl pattern back. But I'm just going to be honest with you guys. When you allow it to air dry after you've washed and conditioned it, the curls are just so much better, more succulent and bigger versus when you use the mister, they're kind of stringy almost, kind of like a jerry curl type pattern. So for me, the best type of curl pattern is right after you wash it and allow it to air dry. That's bomb. But I know it might not be something that you can do every day. So in the meantime, you can mist it. But if you do mist it, make sure that you do have conditioner in your water bottle because you don't want the hair to dry out. See, I did use a little bit of my concealer. This concealer, I absolutely love. It's by Ardell. It is their photo face concealer. I did actually pick this up at the Dollar Tree a few months back and there also is another one that's a little bit less thick but I do really like this coverage on it. They don't give you names but they do give you a number and the consistency of it is really great. It reminds me of a LA Colors, LA Girl, excuse me, LA Girls concealer but with a little bit more coverage and punch if you get what I'm saying but on that same threshold. Still do see these at the Dollar Tree, you know, wanderers every here and there so I mean I definitely would say check them out because this is some good concealer and I did use a little bit of it in the parting as well as right here in the front just to conceal the knots as best as I could. For you can finger comb this bad boy and she will get huge but I really wasn't going for that look today so I just kind of kept it like this. This wig is super duper long. I think it's supposed to be 24 inches and girl it is that and then some okay. So I will leave all of the information down below for Hermosa here. Hermosa hair. Color is beautiful. I just wish that I would have bleached the knots, but it's not always a 100% guarantee that the knots are going to bleach. So I just left it alone to avoid any type of aggravation because girl, I can get aggravated. Okay. So I guess y'all heard what I had to say. Now let me know what you got to say. Leave your comments below. I will see y'all in the comment section. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs that video up like you do. And you know what? It's your B-Day. So do it like it's your B-Day, baby. Do it like you've grown a sex day. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Go, go, go.